one, two, three, there's no snowbacks. Right. Um, so, you know, just, I think it's going to be a ton of fun, but it's going to be learning where the limit is and what I can get away with and what I can't. The conditions are like, one tire works for one mile, yeah. you know, and the other one works for the other. It's just, yeah, I think that at the end, it's sort of equal. Like I have no, right now I have no real concept of how fast you can go. Of what the limit is. No, it's, all, it's, it's not very high to be honest no. with you. It's, okay. it's all about here. Yeah. <laughs> Just try and find some deep snow and stay out of the ice. You can see the ice. Are we running light pod? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts on the stages, Alex? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I've run them a couple of times. It's been a, an event that I always enjoy to do at the end of the season. So it's great to be here. Stages don't change every year; they're always the same. So I'm familiar with it. It's a bit of a shame that uh, this year the organizer didn't really offer a shakedown, which they have in the past. So it would have been very beneficial for Kyle because he hasn't driven on snow conditions before. So, but it is what it is. We'll have to use the first couple of stages as a test for him to understand the grip or lack of grip, we should say. At the end of the day, this event is a a test for the first round of the American Championship next year which are exactly the same conditions and a snow drift is always a rally that if you score well it pays off at the end of the season in your championship and Travis has proved it last year and Barry proved it the year before when uh, Subaru Motorsport didn't attend the event so that's a uh, it's all a bit of homework in preparation for that to have a good ride. Five, four, three, two, one, eighty, four right long, open and five left plus, thirty, four left, repeat, four left, five right, tightens four, over two hundred, surface. Three left plus short down, repeat down there. Three left plus short down. Six right, six left. Into long crest, into five right. Kings over 150. That's mildly terrifying. Um, <laughs> uh, we were relatively competitive, which is a surprise because we just we just drove through it and tried to get to the end without any issues. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm a little bit speechless about it all. than I expected but at the same time not a lot of grip either so I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing so give me tonight and we'll see where we're at tomorrow Right into three left. Repeat into three left. Put your right hug. Open. Dip. And. 
All right, plus. And brow. A little bit surreal given where we started the day. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. It's just uh, still having fun, still smiling. It's still in one piece. So, uh, no, I can't thank the McKenna boys enough. Alex Gelsomino on notes. It's been, uh, it's been a great day. I've learned so much and scared myself more than I can ever remember in a race car. The, uh, the first run through the evening stages, uh, we had to turn the light pod off because of the snow. Like just, it was like flying the Millennium Falcon Starship Enterprise. <laughs> um, and it was just like, it's the scariest thing I've ever done in a race car because you just couldn't see in, we just made the choice to commit to the notes and uh, yeah, here we are. It paid off. We won the stage by like 35, 40 seconds. really well we won the first stage uh, this morning by 24 seconds and then we just won the next pass before service so uh, yeah it's all looking okay at this point we're just trying to conserve zero risk and get to the finish where uh, studs are definitely the tire of choice on that one but um, we're gonna stick with the Yokohama's the non studded tire uh, just because a I'm now familiar with that I don't want to have to relearn it just just having fun and Try and bring it to the end now and see what happens. to say um, that couldn't have been more unexpected honestly uh, you know really last night was probably what set it up for us in the snow um, and today we were just hanging on we were the only car not on studs um, so we were just trying to manage that gap without throwing it off the road which was <laughs> easier said than done but uh, no big thank you to the boys uh, McKenna Motorsport Don Buckley and uh, Alex <laughs> so for sitting in the silly seat I couldn't have done it without them so big thank you and uh, how did you do first time on uh, on ice and snow with this guy? Yeah, it was great. So we, we worked really hard on the rec key and the videos and everything to make sure. We did like the experience here on the snow, but we made sure we did a good, solid job with the notes. 
Uh, so that part was sorted. It was a matter of just logging the kilometers, and obviously the team gave us a fantastic car, and just uh, a setup was just didn't touch anything all weekend long. And and uh, this guy here did an awesome job because you know it just was patient, you know, and that's what's required. And uh, this type of events, you know, patience is re patience is really important. So uh, just learn, you know, kilometer after kilometer, put a good lead yesterday, and manage today. And at the end of the day, is actually. Okay, look, uh, it's a, it's a last event of the year, but it's a very rewarding win. Even personally, in my career, this feels really, really good. And first overall, Kyle Kelly and Thank Alessandro Del Simio. Yes, Thank you. Sir. Oh, Frank, oh no. Good job. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>